In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to run a reference guided assembly in Seekman Engine. First, I'll choose my project type, in this case, genome assembly. Next, I will select templated assembly for normal workflows as my assembly type. Then, I'll enter in a name for the project and specify a directory for the output files. Finally, I'll add my reference sequence for the E. coli data we are working with. After adding my reference sequence, I will need to add the reads that I want to assemble. I'm using Illumina Read technology and will select Illumina greater than 50 because these are longer reads. Then I'll add the two text files that contain the reads to the paired ends section of this window. I'm then prompted to enter an insert size which is the expected distance between pairs. If you don't know, it's safe to leave the default value. The Assembly Options page allows me to edit parameters related to the assembly. Advanced assembly options are also available. However, unless you have a specific reason for changing these, it's a good idea to leave the default settings. Seekman Engine automatically optimizes these based on the read technology, assembly type, and project type selections that we made earlier in the wizard. The final step is to click Assemble, and then your assembly will begin. Once the assembly is finished, it is automatically opened in Seekman Pro. From here, you have access to a variety of analytical tools, such as annotating the consensus, evaluating coverage, using the coverage graph in the strategy view, as well as the coverage report, in analyzing SNPs using our comprehensive, interactive SNP report. This report gives you the ability to filter in many different ways so that you can easily narrow down and focus your results. For more information on reference-guided assemblies using Illumina data, please visit our website at www.dnastar.com or contact us at support at dnastar.com.